the Velveteen Rabbit. Please like and subscribe. There once was a Velveteen Rabbit. On Christmas morning, he sat wedged in the top of the boy's stocking with a sprig of holly between his paws. At first, the boy loved the rabbit, but soon he unwrapped his other toys and forgot about the rabbit completely. After that, the rabbit lived in the toy cupboard. He was shy, and most of the bigger toys ignored him. The skin horse was different. He was old and very wise. Don't worry, the skin horse told the rabbit. Those fancy toys will never be real. What is real? asked the rabbit. Real is a thing that happens to you, said the skin horse, when a child loves you for a long, long time. One evening, the boy could not find the toy that always slept with him. Nanny reached into the toy cupboard. Here, she said, take your old bunny. He'll do to sleep with you. That night, and for many nights after, the velveteen rabbit slept in the boy's bed. At first, the rabbit found it uncomfortable to be hugged so tight. But very soon, he grew to like it. The boy talked to the Velveteen Rabbit, and they played games together. When the boy dropped off to sleep, the rabbit would snuggle down close with the boy's hand clasped around him. Spring came, and they spent long days in the garden. The boy gave the rabbit rides in the wheelbarrow, and they had picnics in the grass. Once, when the boy was called inside, he left the rabbit in the garden until after dark. Nanny had to find him and bring him inside. Here's your old bunny, she said, all that fuss for a toy. Give me my bunny, cried the boy. He isn't a toy. He's real. The little rabbit was happy after that. He loved to sit in the grass and watch the boy play. One evening, two strange beings crept out of the woods. They were rabbits but they were furry and they moved and twitched their noses. Come play with us, they said. I don't feel like it, said the rabbit. I don't believe you can, said one of the strange rabbits. He stretched out his neck and looked. He hasn't any hind legs. He isn't a rabbit at all, said the other. He isn't real. I am real, said the Velveteen Rabbit. The boy said so. Just then, the boy ran past. Two strange rabbits were frightened and disappeared. Weeks passed. Then one day, the boy became ill. Strange people came and went in the nursery. But the Velveteen Rabbit lay hidden from sight. He knew that the boy needed him. For a long time, the boy was too ill to play, but the rabbit looked forward to the time when they would go out in the garden again. He crept up close to the pillow and whispered his plans in the boy's ear. After a while, the boy got better and could go outside for fresh air. One day, the doctor came into the room. That old bunny is full of germs, he said. Burn it at once. So the little rabbit was put into a sack with a lot of rubbish and carried to the end of the garden for the gardener to burn the next day. The velveteen rabbit's head stuck through the top of the sack. He could see all the places where he had played with the boy. A real tear trickled down his nose and fell to the ground. Where it fell, a mysterious flower grew. The blossom opened and out stepped a fairy. She said, I take the playthings children have loved and I turn them into real. Before you were real to the boy because he loved you. Now you will be real to everyone. She flew him to a glade where the wild rabbits danced. Then she kissed him and said, Run and play, little rabbit. 
The Velveteen Rabbit was scared. I don't know if I can, he said. Just then, he felt a tickle by his ear, and without thinking, he lifted a hind leg to scratch it. The Velveteen Rabbit was not scared anymore. I am real, he whispered, and I can run and play like the other real rabbits. And that's just what he did. The Velveteen Rabbit was real at last. I hope you enjoyed that story, kids. I love you guys. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. <laughs>